Hello, welcome back to KNK Visual Productions. I'm Karthik here, and today we are going to create realistic grassland inside Blender. So let's first delete all these things. So before creating the grassland, let's create the landscape for the grass. And for that, I'm going to add and adding a landscape. Now I know what you're thinking. You don't have the landscape option in your Blender, right? So why fear when I'm here? Just go to Edit and Preference, and on the add-on, just search for capital A dot capital N dot capital T, and there you can find ANT Landscape Add-on. Enable that, and you will get the landscape options in your add menu. Now we got the landscape. And on your left side bottom corner you can find the options for changing the landscape so just click on that there you will find a bunch of options for changing the type of landscape you want so I'm going for the another noise so after you selected the landscape you want just click outside the mesh and your options will be just gone so make sure that you select what type of landscape you want because once you deselect that you will not get the options back if you want that options back you would have to delete all your land landscape and you had to re-add the landscape once again and that's a uh, whole waste of time so just make sure you select you finalize which landscape you want so before adding the grass let's add some texture for our landscape so i'm going to the sharing tab so right now we can see we don't have a material for our landscape so hit the new and you will get a new principal bsdf and i have already downloaded the textures and models for the grass and i downloaded it from pixel bridge so it's not a sponsored video but i strongly recommend you to download pixel bridge because it's a really helpful uh you know an app or a web or a website which uh, you can use for such realistic models and renders so i'm going to add some grass textures or you know some landscape textures which i downloaded from pixel bridge so this is our landscape i know this don't look realistic but just bear with me now let's add the grass so i have already downloaded the grass model again i downloaded from pixel bridge so i'm importing it as fbx file grass also don't have texture so let's add some textures to the grass also so now we have textures for our both landscape and the grass now before making the grass into a particle system we have to group it so select the grass not the landscape just select only the grass and in order to make it as a group just hit ctrl g so you will get the option just change the name so i am changing the name into like grass uh, particles now in order to make the grass into a particle system select the landscape and there you will find the particle system icon so right now we, we don't have a particle system in order to make a new particle system click on that plus icon and right now the particle system is in emitter so change the emitter to hair and once you change the emitter to hair you can find a bunch of hairs on your landscape you can scale down the hair length if you want so i'm changing down it to like 0. Uh, 0 0.09 or 0 0.01 and in order to change the hairs into grass you can find an option called render there and there we have the render as path so just change the path into collection and once we change into collection we have a collection option just down below the render and select the collection you want so i'm selecting the grass particles so now you can see i have tiny baby grass on our landscape but i know it's looking really small so in order to make the grass look bigger just increase the hair length as you don't wish and right now all the grass is of equal size and equal height so go to the scale randomness and increase that little bit now this look absolutely realistic is it not that simple right making a grassland inside blender is really simple and now we can just add a camera we can add light and play with some uh, you know sky textures and all and that's it and if you're still watching this video that means you loved it so why don't you subscribe my channel and help me grow so once again you're watching k and k visual productions i'm karthik and i'm signing off see you in the next video until then take care